For you as a student, how do you access Desire to Learn? Um, you'll have to go to CCD Connect first, the same way you registered for this class. And then click on the course and it will bring you here. Um, and then you're going to find your college algebra class of so a Math 121 right there um, for the fall semester. Click on the correct semester. And it will bring you the home page. Um, so here on the home page is really, um, I'll keep a lot of things updated on here throughout the semester. A um, couple things that will stay the same will be you'll always see your course calendar right here. And you'll always see my information, email, phone number, office hours, syllabus, all that contact information will be there for you. Um, so let me go ahead and start with the syllabus. So if I were to click right here on the syllabus, that's going to take me um, straight to the syllabus, which can also be found by clicking on content here in D2L. Um, and so on the syllabus, there's a few things that I uh, want to point out to you guys. Um, first of all, you can, so if you were to scroll down, you can click download and then actually save it as a PDF on your computer if you'd like. Um, if not, you can always access it here. That's going to be up to you. Um, so that download button would be right here. Um, so here's the syllabus. Uh, the table of contents is um, clickable. So you, that means you can go ahead and actually, if you want to look at the course policies and procedures, you can click on that. It'll take you right there. Um, the calendar of assignments, CCD policies and procedures, um, all of that information will be there for you. Um, so what I want to do is I actually want to skip straight over to the course policies and procedures. The rest of it, make sure you take your time to read through the whole syllabus. Um, but on here is where kind of a lot of the important stuff is going to be. Your assignment weights, um, information about D2L, which is the website that we're on right now. Um, information about the videos, so where to find videos. Um, there's going to be some videos on my math lab. Here is a link that you can click on to extra YouTube videos that I've created for um, just helping you understand sort of the concepts along the way. Um, textbook, homework, which will all be on my math lab. Quizzes, exams, all that information will be there for you. Sorry. Okay. All that information will be right there on that syllabus for you. Um, all the exams have to be done on paper for this class. So everything has to be proctored. Um, so you can do that at the CCD Testing Center. Um, there's the website. That'll be the easiest way to do that. Um, so, you know, a couple of, I don't know, three, four days before you want to take the test, you'll log on to there and register to take the exam. You'll schedule your test um, through that website. If you're not local, let me know. We can set you up at a testing center local to where you are if you're not in Denver. Um, so that's going to be where the syllabus is. So you do have a quiz on the syllabus as well. So you're going to want to make sure that you go through and spend some time reading through that whole syllabus to find all the information that you'll need. Um, so going back to the home page, if you're um, to go up here and click on this uh, button right up at the top, that'll say Math 121 with the section number. That'll bring you right back to the home page. So that was where the syllabus was. Um, news announcements, I'll try to post some news announcements probably once a week throughout the rest of the semester. So make sure you're checking it fairly often. Um, and then here is the course calendar. What this is, is I've created a week-by-week -week checklist. Um, and this checklist is going to be in every single week, starting right away this week, um, of all the items that you have to complete every week, including the homework, discussions, um, quizzes, exam, everything that's worth a grade is right there. Um, so you'll see the first week's um, read to the syllabus is the first thing. Um, log on to D2L, which you're on right now, and we're going to have to complete that discussion. All of these things that are on your first week's to-do list, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through and just show you all of the things that you'll be looking through um, as you go through this to-do list. So this checklist is really a week-by-week -week calendar for the whole course, exactly what you're going to be doing. Um, so the first thing that's going to be required is going to be a discussion, and the discussion is worth part of your grade. So that's going to be here on D2L. So your discussion is going to be here on D2L, as well as some of this content stuff, okay? So under Discussion tab, right here on the menu, we'll click on Discussions. And that'll show you all, it's going to look a little bit different on your side um, because you're not going to be able to actually uh, see and grade all of these, so, but it'll look pretty much the same on your side here. Um, and so you can see what the first discussion is supposed to be. So that first discussion is called the Why Online Math, um, and then there's the directions about how to post that first discussion, and there's a deadline. And then you'll see there's another discussion, and that discussion is solution, Solutions to Chapter 1 Homework. There's some directions on what's required. Um, and then the deadline for these ones, it looks like it's a little bit on top instead of on bottom. But the deadline right here, as it says, is Friday, September 25th at 11.30 p.m. Okay? And then the same thing, that has the same deadline for this third discussion as well, also Friday, September 25th. And then you can scroll down and see 
all the discussions and their deadlines. Okay, so when they're open and then when they're due. So you have pretty much a month to do each one. Um, and I think there's only six, so not too many, but they are worth your grade. So make sure that you go through, read those directions, and complete those discussions. On time. Um, other things that you want to think about on D2L. So here on D2L, if I were to click on content, okay, um, you're going to see there's the syllabus, there's the course calendar. Here's the college algebra syllabus quiz. If you were to go back and look at that course calendar, that's one of the things that is due this week. So you're going to want to click on that, save it on your computer, complete the quiz, and email it back to me. Um, and that's also on your course calendar, so, so you'll see that's one of the first things to do. Um, you're going to see some exam reviews. So these reviews right here, chapter 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, these are for each unit. Um, so those are going to be um, practice problems for you when you're studying for the test. For the discussions, it'll tell you to post a solution to these review problems. So just make sure you realize that that's where those are. Um, and so then these additional resources, none of those are worth, this is that tab right here, additional resources. None of those are worth a grade. They're just there for you as extra practice, extra help, a few extra questions and kind of descriptions to help you along for some of the harder problems. So that's there for you. Um, but then two important tabs would be the syllabus calendar and then the exam reviews that'll help you complete the course, okay? Um, also on D2L, you can click on this grade tab, and that'll be an updated running tally of your grade. I obviously won't have a grade myself when I'm logged in under myself, but you will. So you can click on that. Um, and there's even a class list that you should be able to open up and try to email some of your classmates if you'd like to get together for any kind of study time, things like that. You can see all of that there. Okay. Um, so that's our D2L. So then going back to what's required of us, let's go back and click that course calendar so we can see everything else that we need to do and make sure I get everything. Um, okay, so it looks like we've gotten through where the syllabus is, where the discussion is. So now we need to talk about our My Math Lab. Okay, so D2L is where about half of the course is going to be, where a lot of that information is going to be. And then the other half is going to be on My Math Lab where you'll actually do the homework. Okay. So you're going to go to mymathlab.com. Okay, you can just go to mymathlab.com like I've done here. Um, and then you're going to do one of two things. If you've used My Math Lab before, you're going to sign in exactly as you have before. Okay, if you're new to My Math Lab, then you're going to have to register yourself as a student. Okay, and you'll have to get an email address, a username, a password, and all of that stuff. Okay, once you sign on, you'll have to go ahead and actually add the course. Um, so you'll have to, once you register, it'll ask you to add the course, or if you sign in, you can go ahead and click enroll in a new course. Um, but once you do that, it'll ask you for a course ID. So this is the course ID right back here on the, the course calendar. It's also listed on the syllabus for you, okay? So once you've registered for that, there's, again, yours will say enroll in a new course. So you can click enroll in a new course. Mine says create, but yours will say enroll. And then you're going to have to add in that course ID number that one more time you can find right here on the course calendar okay once you've done that you'll have you will have to pay it's about an I think it's a $96 fee currently for my math lab but you don't have to purchase the physical textbook my math lab will come with the electronic version of the textbook um, so here I am math 121 70L fall 2015 um, Vorton that's the, the last name so you know you're in the right class so on this course, there's a few things um, that I want to talk about, right? First of all, here's the e-text. If you want to be able to access that textbook, you can click right here on e-text, or you can click on multimedia library, depending on kind of, if this one doesn't open on your browser, try to click on multimedia library. For me, I happen to have more luck with clicking on multimedia library, and then I can cl click on the textbook, and then I can go through and find whatever section I might be working on, okay? So all of the textbook will be there for you. You can see everything you'll need right there, okay? So that's the textbook, all right? Um, so then the same same thing for, for a couple of other things. So go, going back to your course home for my math lab, um, really the main things that you're going to think about would be under assignments, okay? I'm not going to be using um, the discussions. I'm not going to be using the study plan. I'm not going to be using the chapter contents. So that's there if you want, okay? That's there for you. If you'd like to use it, you're welcome to, but it won't count towards your grade. So what's going to count towards your grade is all, we, all of it is going to be under assignments. So you'll click under assignments, and you'll see I have everything for the whole semester, including deadlines, everything available for you, okay? 
So this is what you do. You're going to log on to my math lab this week. we got to get through a little more than half of chapter one, so quite a lot. You're going to watch the chapter one videos. Watch, watch those ones so that you can get an idea um, of what the concept is going to be covering. Um, you can take notes on those videos as if it was your lecture. Um, if you want to skip around, maybe you watch one video halfway through and you feel like you're comfortable, so you skip to the next one. That's going to be up to you. But you'll watch those videos, and then you'll go ahead and do the chapter one homework. Okay, so once you click on the chapter one homework, I'll click on 1.2 just as an example. Of course, you'll have to do the videos and 1.1 do it in order. Um, but just as an example, let's say I wanted to do 1.2. I can click on the homework and it'll open it up and you'll go through and do each each problem. Make sure you just click save at the end so that you don't lose your work. But you'll go through and do each problem. Let me show you an example. All right, so for this one right here, it's talking about the domain and range of a relation. So we can talk about functions for this one. So the definition of a function, if we were to go back and kind of look at some of those videos that we watched already, um, you saw that the definition of a function is that every input has exactly one output. So for this example right here, I can see that 6, the number 6 is an input, and right here in this ordered pair, it has the number 6 as an output. But then I can also see over here that the number 6 is an input and it has the number two as an output. So same input, but two different outputs. So this is gonna be not a function. But let's go through and answer the question. The domain would be the x values. So it's six, 28, um, 32. We don't need to write six again. You can if you really want to though. And 47. And then you click check your answer. It's exciting, you got it right. And then you move on. The range, range is the y values. So six, negative three, <clears throat> make sure you put those commas there, it will mark you off if you don't. Um, and again, two, I don't need to list it twice, so I don't have to. You can, oh, look at it. Okay, so six, negative three, six, two, and two. Oh, I guess maybe I don't need to write the six twice, that's probably why. There we go, okay, so I didn't need to write the six twice. So the um, range was the y values. Okay, all right, so excellent. And then is this relation a function? And we already said no, because the one input of six had two outputs, so it's not, not a function. Ta-da, okay. And then you'll get green check. I got number one right. I can move on to number two, okay? Um, and then let's say I got it wrong, though. Let's say I thought here, let's say I thought the answer was eight for that problem. It's not correct. I can try again. Still not correct. I can try again, and I had noticed it said final check. So then it'll tell me what the correct answer is. And now I have a little red box there and I can't type it in. Okay, so then if I were to go through and do the whole problem, um, and let's say I was struggling with this, didn't get them right, let me show you what you can do to do them again. So you can redo the problems over and over and over again. Okay. Okay, so now notice that I've got all those parts wrong. It has an X, so I don't get credit for that one. But I can go down here at the bottom, and now that I realized I got that problem wrong, I can go down and click similar exercise, and it's going to let me start over again. Now let's you start over again, but notice that the numbers did change a little bit. So the same type of problem, same question, just different numbers. So you can do that over and over again. You have infinitely many tries, so there's really no reason for you to not get 100% of the homework. Um, all these tools on the right are there for you as extra help. If you want to see a video again, if you want to look at the textbook, if you want to ask your instructor, that will send an email to me. Um, view an example, you can watch them. Uh, solve an example of this exact same type, so you can kind of see. All of those tools are there for you. You can use them as much as you want. Okay. So then I can click save, and you can do half a homework problem, I'm sorry, half a homework section, and then come back later if you want. So this one that I got right, it'll save that for me. I'll always have that one right, and I can come back and finish it at another time if I need to. Okay. Um, so the other thing, then going back to assignments, would be the quizzes. So there is going to be a quiz for every chapter. So notice that the My Math Lab is in order. There's videos, then there's a homework, then there's a quiz. Videos, homework, and then a quiz. And you're going to see that I can scroll through and do all the whole semester just like that. Okay. Um, so with the quizzes, okay, you're going to see you have two attempts. Okay. So I've done it zero times. I haven't tried it, but I have two attempts. So if I do it once and I don't do a very good job, 
let's say I get 70% and I want to get better. I can try it the second time around and see if you can do better. So you do get more than one, one shot to do, uh, to do those quizzes, and you'll see that for all of the quizzes throughout, throughout the semester, okay? Um, so that's pretty much everything for the whole class. So just as a refresher, this is just that intro video to get you started, okay? D2L, that's what this website is. On D2L, you'll find the course calendar. When I go back to the home page, I can see that the course calendar is right here. You're also going to have news items, and then discussions are worth part of your grade, okay? And then you're going to go to my math lab, and under assignments, you'll have videos, homework, and quizzes. That's pretty much everything, right? The exams you're going to see on your course calendar are going to be after every two chapters. And like I said earlier, the exams have to be proctored. And so there's going to be, um, you're going to have to read, uh, log on and schedule an appointment, okay, through the testing center. And all that information is right here. This is even clickable here on the course calendar for you, okay? So everything's fairly organized for you guys. you got to make sure that you keep track of everything because there is a lot going on. But this course calendar, this checklist, just go through and make sure you have this as it's printed out. Check it off every time, um, every time that you finish one. And make sure that it is completed by the deadline. So this first week, all that stuff has to be done by September 6th. Okay. And then the next week, all that stuff has to be done by September 13th and so on. Okay. So those deadlines are going to be really important. They're there for you. Okay. So all my information is on the syllabus. It's also on the D12 page. Feel free to email me or call me with any questions you guys might have. All right, good luck.